Hello everybody, my name is Sleep Cave, and today I'm going to be showing guys the 2020 version of the Fast and Furious Hot Wheel cars. I'm going to be reviewing them. So if you end up enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment down below what is your favorite version of the Fast and Furious Hot Wheel cars. For me, I think it's the 2020 version as it's the only version I have and I really, really like the models of it. So if you want to see more content like this, also make sure to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So, the first car we have on the Fast and Furious 2020 list is the Mercedes AMD GT. This is actually one of my favorite models out of this whole set because I, I personally find the Mercedes a really, really cool looking car. Um, but besides that, it is from the Fate of the Furious. And as you can see here at the top of the, there's the numbers and you can see it's one out of five. So, uh, what I do like about the car is that it doesn't have any like bright and flashy colors like the other Mercedes do. Like it's a, it's a nice silver with a couple black stripes. I think the blacked out wheels look really, really good. Every car uh, has blacked out wheels in this whole set. So I think that's really, really cool. And the, the packaging is actually one of my favorites that I've seen in like the entirety of my Hot Wheels little uh, collection. So I think the, the this whole packaging looks really, really cool. I do have this whole section ripped off because, you know, I was getting out of the cars as I bought this uh, quite a little bit long time ago. Um, but besides that, the packaging is really, really good looking. There isn't much to it. Um, there's also like these whole cars. You can see if it would like to focus. It is not wonderful. You see, it says the 15 Mercedes AMG GT. And then this is the rest of the cars. I'm not going to be showing that that much because I want to, you know, uh, give you guys a full tour of all the cars. So more about this Mercedes. Um, um, uh, the looks, uh, out of 10 for the looks, I'd give it a solid um, 8. Um, there could be a little bit more... Hmm, I feel like it lacks a little bit of something. I don't know why. It, just, it feels like it lacks a bit, but besides that, I think everything's very solid. The the car is very well made, as you can see here. Um, there isn't much detail on it, but I like clean cars, but sometimes it just I want a little bit more detail, maybe like a bit more shine. As you can see on the picture, it's quite shiny, so I, maybe I would like that as well. But besides that, it's all good. The build quality on Hot Wheel cars, as usual, is like a solid 9 out of 10. It's not clunky. The, I mean, the wheels, you can't always get high quality, so the wheels are a bit clunky. As you can see here, they're all made out of plastic, but that's okay. That's Hot Wheels for you guys. So the build is a 9 out of 10. Uh, the shape itself of the car is like quite one of my favorites. The Mercedes um, has a bit of a unique shape. It's a bit like... Uh, chunky or clunky uh, the shape but that's why I like them or this Mercedes model because um, I genuinely just like the shape of the cars there's anything special on the back it's upside down just Mercedes AMG GT D D W 384 um, nothing that of interesting nothing too special um, uh, it's a really really solid car. I really really like this one and Now let's actually move on to the second car of this whole set. So we'll see you guys there So guys the second car we have on this list is a Nissan 370z This is one of your like basic JDM cars Again, nothing special like the Mercedes, nothing too uh, crazy or just absolutely nuts. Just uh, just your regular yellow uh, 370Z. And as you can see here, it is from Fast and Furious 6. And yeah, you can see here, it's, it's the second car out of the whole five set. And um, once again, um, uh, I'd give this for the design and for the whole car. I'd give this kind of like a, um, let's say like a like a like a seven or a six point five. 
Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the 370Z model or the 350Z model. I'm not really a fan of Nissan in general, but this car looks pretty, pretty clean. I like the yellow on it. I don't, I, I do have uh, a, a green one, which um, I think looks a little bit cooler. I think the darker colors do fit the 370Z a bit better, but this is definitely a great, great model for anyone looking for just a clean JDM car. Uh, but besides that, the build quality, it's all good. Um, yeah, well, just as usual, just a 9 out of 10 for Hot Wheel cars. Um, and the reason that I'm giving this, um, not the only reason that I'm giving this like a lower score for the design and the look of it is because it's a bit simple. There's nothing on it. For example, on the Mercedes, there were stripes on it, which made it look uh, pretty unique. And this is just, it looks clean, yes, but it, I think it needs a little bit more touch of like detail or something like that to make it look a little bit better. Um, I think if you had that, it would score like a solid 8 or a solid 9, but now I think that it's more of like, um, like a 7 or a 6.5, and as usual, there's there's nothing too, um, too crazy about this, it is not anything too special. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the third car of this set. So guys, for the third car here, we have the McLaren 720S. This package is the only one that has his name not ripped off actually, so it's quite special. Uh, but uh, besides that, I think a lot of you guys will enjoy this car because the McLaren is quite popular among the Hot Wheels community, if you did not know yourself. Uh, as you can see here, it is from the Hobbs and Shaw movie. And here you can see that it's the third out of the fifth one. And it's the third car out of this five car set. And again, um, this is probably my second favorite car out of this whole set. Uh, I personally find McLaren the McLarens are not my favorite types of cars, actually. I don't really like hyper cars. Uh, more like into JDM cars, but I genuinely like how they made this McLaren. I really like, I don't know if you can see it, but I really like the sparkling on it. I think that's a great, great touch. I only have one more car, which only has the sparkly on it. And I don't really like that car itself, but I think this is amazing looking. Uh, I like the kind of uh, shade of blue that it has, actually, because on the package, as you can see here, it kind of looks silvery, more like greenish. I don't know if it's just the camera or whatnot. Uh, but I think that the um, colors that they chose for this are quite clean as well as the other cars on the set. Uh, for the looks of this, I would definitely give it a solid 9. Uh, one of my favorite looks out of all these cars, um, besides the Mercedes that I showed you guys before. Um, and as you can see, this is the front. Yeah, you can see the McLaren 720S. This is a 2017 model. Uh, not all these cars have the metal here have like written on them, so that's kind of sad. I can't really show that as well. Um, packaging again looks really, really cool. Um, and for the build as well, uh, I feel like this car is uh, a little bit lighter than the other cars uh, in the set, which is kind of weird. I don't know why, because it's quite like a, a long-ish car. Uh, but it, it is a bit lighter, so I personally like more clunkier and more heavier cars. So for the build, I'm gonna give it like an 8 or a 7.5. But it's nothing too noticeable, it's just when you compare all of them, it just seems like that. Uh, I do like the back grills that are here. Like my camera does not want to focus, but yeah, you can see it back here. I think that's a really, really cool touch. Uh, but besides that, now we're going to move on to the fourth car, and I'll see you there. Alright guys, so for the fourth car here, we have the Lamborghini Gallardo. This is probably my, um, uh, my second least favorite the car out of the set, besides the Nissan 370Z. Uh, I don't know what it is about this car, it's just plain, it's simple, it's nothing much, it's not even clean whatsoever. <laughs> But I might be insulting you, uh, Lamborghini fans. I'm not a big fan of Lamborghinis in general. But besides that, as you can see here, it is from the Fast and Furious 6 series. And it is 4 out of 5. And uh, I don't know if this is a mistake, but you can see here that this part of the door has like a little black tint. Well, this car does not. I'm going to have to Google that. Maybe that's an error. 
Maybe this will make this car a bit more valuable, or maybe I'm just stupid, who knows. Um, but anyways, uh, for the looks, I'd give this car like a 5. I really, really don't like the looks of this. I guess it could use a little bit more color as I save a lot of these things, with a lot of these cars I mean. Um, it could use a bit more color. The wheels are weird because they're not tinted out like the rest of this set, which is a pretty interesting choice. Um, and... Well, for the build quality, um, I don't know, for like a big car like this, it's actually pretty lightweight, which I don't know why, but it is quite lightweight, which I find interesting. Uh, so for the build quality, I would definitely give it like a 7 or a 6. I'm not sure why it's so light, but as you know, I don't really like like light cars like this, but honestly, who knows? So, uh, after this, we're gonna now move on to our last car of this whole Fast and Furious Hot Wheels car set that I'm reviewing. So, without further ado, let's get right into that one. So guys, here we have the last car of these Fast and Furious 2020 set. This is actually a very interesting car because, um, as you've seen before, this whole set is consisted of, like, exotics and more hypercars and this one is actually quite a classic if my camera would like to focus hello thank you so as you can see here i keep forgetting what this was called but if we look on the back here we can actually see there we go that this is a 69 ford torino pally i don't know how to pronounce that and i'm not going to try to uh so anyway um, it is from the Furious 7 movie, and it is, as you can see, like the, the final one. And it, it has quite an inter interesting design, as most old classical muscle cars, it is it has suspension, it's lowered, which I find really cool. Uh, I do find the color combination quite weird on this side, because you can see that it is like, this is brown, and that is kind of like, military greenish so i do find that um pretty weird color choice as those colors don't tend to go together that well but besides that a very cool looking car um this is probably my third favorite car out of the set uh like after the mercedes and the mclaren um, for the looks, I would give it, uh, I think this is one of the more, like, um, detailed or, like, colorful cars, even though it's not colorful at all, but you know what I mean. Um, I would give this, uh, like, a solid 8.5. The build, it is quite heavy, and I do like heavy cars, so I give this a 9. It's not a, you know, it's just a toy car, it's not, it cannot be perfectly, like, as, as as heavy uh, as I would like it to be but you know it's a toy car you can't quite do anything about it but um here's the full view of it I have not seen any of these besides um, any of these uh, car models besides on the Fast and Furious set which is quite interesting um, here I'm sorry, I really right, like admiring this car. It's a really, really cool looking car. Um, anyway, guys, uh, so now I'm gonna move on to the outro, so I'll see you there. So guys, thank you for watching today's video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Hot Wheels related content just like this, including reviews, peg hunting videos, whatever you guys want. So. What was your favorite car of the set? Comment down below. And whoever's going to be commenting, I'm going to heart their comment. <laughs> it's so, so weird. Whoever's commenting is going to get their comment hearted. Anyway, guys, uh, I just want to quickly apologize for the amount of times I have changed clothing and the amount of different lighting shots I've been getting on my videos. I, it's hard for me to like shoot and film the different shots in the same day and in the same hour so the lighting is the complete same because as you can see here it's kind of in the evening right now. Uh, so I really apologize about that. I hope that's okay and I'm going to try to be more consistent uh, with my videos later on uh, when I can of course. Uh, so 
I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!